Hello, my love. Yes, we start now a new year. Happy New Year. But what do we do? We give our willingness and mind to our beloved coach, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ for training our mind to slowly and gradually accept who we really are. In truth, you are the most beautiful being in the universe, the extension of the Father, and me too. We are love, and we all have eternal relation <coughs> given by God Father. We are His extension. So I will guide you under the guidance of Jesus, who is in all our minds and helping us as our brother, who has learned all the lessons of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, they will guide me through all the 365 lessons for the whole year. Today we start with the first. And I'm happy that hand in hand we go together to heaven where we are in truth. Okay, this workbook of the Cause and Miracles is most, most important. Without this training, you cannot understand what it means, and we don't have to understand it, we just have to do it, so that slowly our mind is opening up to the truth, which we have denied here. So this world of death and separation is not real, it's just a dream. The lessons are helping us to awaken to the truth. We are. Okay, and that workbook with the lessons has an introduction, and this introduction is most important. So I now will read that to you, and I can only encourage you that again and again. You read that introduction, and practically, well, imbibe again and again the fact, what really is this training for? It's a great motivation tool. Okay, so we start with the introduction. Workbook introduction. A theoretical foundation such, such as the text provides is necessary as a framework work to make the exercises in the workbook meaningful. Yet it is doing the exercises that will make, yet it is the doing the exercise that will make the goal of the course possible. An untrained mind can accomplish nothing. It is the purpose of this workbook to train your mind to think along the lines of the text sets forth. The exercises are very simple. They do not require a great deal of time, and it does not matter where you do them. They need no preparation. The training period of one year is one year. The exercises are numbered from 1 to 365. Do not undertake to do more than one set of exercises a day. The workbook is divided into two main sections, the first dealing with the undoing of the, of the way you see now, and the second with, with the acquisition of true perception, with the exception of the review periods, each day's exercises are planned around one central idea, which is stated first. This is followed by a description of the specific procedure by which the idea for the day is to be applied. The purpose of this workbook is to train your mind in a systematic way 
to a different perception of everyone and everything in the world. So it's a main change that I detach from all I believed in and open up to the truth. The exercises are planned to help you, you generalize the lessons so that you will understand that each of them is equally applicable, applicable to everyone and everything you see. Very, very deep point. Just use them in any situation of the day. Transfer of training and true perception does not proceed as does transfer of the training of the world. If true perception has been achieved in connection with any person, situation or event, total transfer to everyone and everything is certain. One, on the other hand, one exception held apart from true perception makes it accomplishment anywhere impossible. So when you open up totally to the truth and see one person in the reality to be the Holy Son of God, this is extended to everyone. The only general rules of the observed throughout then are first that the exercises be practiced with great specificity. That is very important, with great specificity and will be in, as it will be indicated. So just do it as it said. This will help you to re generalize the ideas involved in every situation in which you find yourself and to everyone and everything in it. Second, be sure that you do not decide for yourself that there are some people, some situation, or things to which the ideas are inapplicable, <laughs> cannot be applied. No, it can be applied to everyone. This will interfere with transfer of training. The very nature of true perception is that it has no limits. It is the opposite of the way you see now. You might not understand this now. But just do it, just follow the lines and do it. The overall aim of the exercises is to increase, increase your ability to extend the ideas you will be practicing to include everything. This will require no effort on your part. The exercises themselves meet the conditions necessary for this kind of transfer. So when I learn to see one brother, with true perception, then this I learn for everyone, and it extends to everyone. I just do it for everyone. At the beginning, it might be that I only want to do it with some, but later I can extend it more and more. Some of the ideas the workbook presents you will find hard to believe, and others may seem to be quite startling. This does not matter. Very important, my love. Very important. Doesn't matter. You just do them. You're like a baby learning a new language. You are merely asked to apply the ideas as you are directed to do. You are not asked to judge them at all. You are asked only to use them. It is their use that will give them meaning to you and will show you that they are true. Yes. Remember only this. You need not to believe the ideas. You need not accept them. You need not even welcome them. Some of them you may actively resist. None of this will matter. Very important. None of this matters. Or decrease the, eff the efficacy. It does not decrease the efficacy. That means they're efficient. Anyway, but do... Not allow yourself to make exceptions in applying the ideas the workbook contains. And whatever your reaction to the ideas may be, use them. Use them, use them. Nothing more than that is required. Well, so my love, that was the introduction. And in essence, it's so important, my love, that you just follow. We are like a baby. We tell you ourselves, I don't know anything. My old thinking, my old thinking, 
was not true. Jesus is asking me, he is in our mind, so no surprise. You can understand him. He is asking me how you feel. Very happy, very joyful. Yes, and when I join with you, Jesus, very peaceful, unlimited. Where are you when you join with me? He's asking. Oh, I feel totally surrounded by the love of the Father. How many years you have trained your mind, he's asking me, to experience this? I don't really know. Might be 18 years that I started around the year 2000. But it was after some time that I opened my mind totally to you. And then there was a deep change. And that happened when I said to myself, I do not know anything. I do not know anything. As in India, they say, Neti Neti. I do not know anything. And that was the opening. And then I felt the blessing in our oneness. Beautiful. I read now to you the first lesson of the day. And you just do it as it said. Okay. Well, we have the lesson. There it is. Lesson number one. No, oh, I had here Lektion Nummer 1, that's in German. So let's see where we have that. Aha. Here it is. Here it is in English. The lesson for the first January, 2018, lesson number one. Nothing I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place, means anything. Now look slowly around you and practice applying this idea very specifically to whatever you see. This table does not mean anything. This chair does not mean anything. This hand does not mean anything. This food does not mean anything. This pen does not mean anything. Then look farther away from your immediate area and apply the idea to a wider range. That door does not mean anything. That body does not mean anything. That lamp does not mean anything. That sign does not mean anything. That shadow does not mean anything. Notice that these statements are not arranged in any order and make no allowance for differences in the kind of things to which they are applied. That is the purpose of the exercise. The statement should merely be applied to anything you see. As you practice the idea for the way, use it totally indiscriminately. Do not attempt to apply it to, to everything you see. For these exercises should not become a ritual, a ritual or ritualistic. Only be sure that nothing you see is specially excluded. One thing is like another, as far as the application of the idea is concerned. So far the lesson number one. Each of the first three lessons should not not be done more than twice a day. That might surprise you. Twice, twice a day, each. Preferably morning and evening. Nor should they be attempted for more than a minute. So it's very short. Not more than a minute. Unless it entails a sense of hurry. And even less. A comfortable sense of leisure is essential. We need to be very soft and easy in this mind training. 
So that is why Holy Spirit and Jesus are suggesting only twice a day, in the morning and the evening. Because in the mind, there is a heavy resistance to that sort of nothing means anything. And so we just softly do that exercise. Jesus is asking, how was it for you today when you made that exercise? Well, I first uh, joined with you and before I did the exercise, I joined with the Father and felt the blessing and felt very, very happy, unlimited. And so when I did the exercise and looked around, this lamp doesn't mean anything and uh, the wall and anything around me, uh, I felt tremendous peace. I have to tell honestly, this is the first year, and I do it a couple of years, and I repeat it every year. And every year it's different, but this is the first year there was not a slightest resistance. Just easy. This flower doesn't mean anything. As if that is opening a door to the heart. What really is there? Because anything we see in this world, what is perishing, is not real. It's like a veil over the truth. So we learn now to undo practical, our false perception. And train to see the reality, the eternal reality, the true creation of the Father, who we are. My beloved, beloved brother, and brother is everyone. We are all the Son of God, the Holy Son of God, all together, sharing one identity. This is the truth, and therefore we are brothers. So when I address you, my holy brother, of my love. It's because we are in truth only love. And in reality, we love each other. Have a beautiful day and practice a lesson twice a day. I love you. Bye.